So it's been a while since I went in my smartphone dungeon, reliving all those memories and thinking to myself, I should actually do a better job at keeping these phones organized. Also, in case you're wondering, this dungeon only has phones, okay? nothing else. Now I realize out of all the phones that I own, there's just one smartphone that is truly once in a lifetime. Okay, technically any phone can be considered as once in a lifetime. For example, you won't see Apple re-releasing their iPhone 8 in the market with newer internals. Oh wait, they actually did that last year with the iPhone SE. You see the point is nothing is stopping them, no dark forces in the way. Even if they want to make an iPhone 3GS in 2021, they absolutely can. But this phone, cannot be made, hence it's truly once in a lifetime. Enter the love child of Google and Huawei, the Nexus 6P. Considering the time we are living in with Huawei getting the Ultra Band 9000, it's hard to believe that at one point Huawei had such good ties that they actually collaborated with Google to make a Nexus phone with pure Android, pure googly google stuff on it. It's so crazy but this may actually be the only Huawei phone right now that can run Android 11 with full Google apps and pure Google camera. Sad. Now this once in a life smartphone is also the best old phone that I've used ever. Just to remind you this phone came out in 2015 which makes this phone almost 6 year old older than my niece, which is crazy. This phone kind of shocked me, especially when it comes to camera. Night Sight, which is Google's night mode, it can work perfectly on this six-year-old phone with its six-year-old camera hardware. Despite that, it absolutely shat all over the iPhone 12 Pro Max, which is a 2020 phone in this night image comparison. I actually did a blind camera test comparison on my Twitter, and uh, pretty much everyone thought that I'm comparing this picture to the S21 Ultra, but no, it's actually a night Nexus freaking 6P. To be fair, the phone did take like 20 to 30 seconds to process this night mode image, but the result was absolutely worth it. We'll talk more about camera later, but let's talk about the software. The Nexus 6P has like unlimited lives. The official software support died with Android 8.0 Oreo, but thanks to the gods of XGA developers, this phone can run the latest Android 11. I actually have the Pixel Experience ROM installed in this phone, and it's based on Android 10, which is still a very recent software. This custom ROM gets timely ODA updates which I can flash pretty easily feels like a normal software ODA update that you would receive on any other official software running phone. I got possibly the best custom ROM experience I have ever experienced on a Android phone. More on that later, let's take a quick look at the design of the Nexus 6P, one of the first phone with the camera bump design. At the time it was criticized a lot because it looked very different compared to other single camera rocking smartphones like the Galaxy S6 and the iPhone 6s, but looking back at it right now, I kind of feel like it was ahead of time. There's like so much space to install extra cameras on this thing. I feel like someone will copy this design at some point in the future. It's got that trusty back finger scanner which works great every single time and it's surprisingly relevant in the special times that we are living in. Full on metal body with a matte finish, shiny sides and edges, honestly this phone feels almost as good as a 2021 flagship. You get a USB Type-C port which supports fast charging. It takes about one hour and few minutes to charge from zero to 100%. And then we have two things that we don't see on smartphone these days, headphone jack and dual front stereo speakers. Now on the front, understandably, it's got those big bezels. Smartphones have definitely evolved for the best when it comes to the display. But if we ignore them big black bezels for a second, this one is rocking a 5.7 inch OLED panel with quad HD resolution. It's actually rocking a better and stronger protection than a Galaxy S20 FE is coming with Gorilla Glass 4 versus the Gorilla Glass 3 that you see for some reason on a 2020 600 Samsung phone. Now Android 10 is running pretty good on this phone considering it's 6 year old. We do have some slight lags here and there but nothing major and one of the reasons why this phone is pulling that off is because it's got a Snapdragon 810 chipset. This was the only chip that Samsung skipped in its flagship phone and went Exynos worldwide. If you guys recall the Galaxy S6 line from 2015, all of them had the Exynos processor. There were some overheating issues with the first Snapdragon 810 batch, but Huawei, they used the version 2 of this chip and honestly, I've never felt anything wrong with this chip, not even then and not even now. Like I said, it's a surprisingly capable phone that can run pretty much any game that you throw at it. I was even able to play PUBG Mobile on medium settings on this phone without any lag. 
that's like one of the most demanding games we have on smartphone right now and this six-year-old phone is pulling that off just fine as for third-party apps like instagram twitter whatsapp they all work without any major delay i can post pictures and stories on instagram without any issue apply filters as well everything works fine it feels like i'm using a three-year-old phone or something now just a quick tidbit snapdragon 810 inside this phone is a 20 nanometer chip uh, versus five nanometer on current smartphones that is an insane hardware jump now the main area where i was really blown away was with the cameras nexus xp is capable of running uh, somewhat of a latest version of google camera software so it has a working night mode there's no portrait mode but other than that you get a pretty capable camera experience and uh, that is very apparent when you compare the picture from the six year old phone to the night mode picture that i took on my iphone 12 pro max looking at the photos out of this phone it was like the first phone that kind of gave us sort of a glimpse of pixels ultimate soon to come smartphone camera dominance images that have that contrasty pixel look and surprisingly good detail the night side like i said it takes like 30 40 seconds to process but it actually makes a ton of difference in the final result the software algorithm pumps out some crazy colors and it can be a bit too much at times but in certain situations it can definitely make even the best of the smartphones look kind of dumb as for videos you can shoot them up to 4k 30 fps or stick with 1080p if you want better stabilization. Now my Nexus 6P has worked surprisingly well when it comes to its battery. It's got a 3450 milliampere cell and I'm getting like three hours of usage out of this phone with the consistent social media, Instagram and web browsing, which in comparison to my iPhone 12 Pro Max or Galaxy S21 Ultra, it's absolutely nothing, but still for a six year old phone, it's not bad. If I put a new battery inside this phone, I may be able to crank that screen time up to four hours. So all in all, in all of my old smartphone usage experiments, this has to be the best phone that has held so good. Especially when we talk about camera and taking photos in low light, the night sight and Google processing is total magic. It's kind of sad they didn't upgrade their hardware, which is why I think Samsung has definitely taken the lead. This year, Google has to bring a hardware upgrade on their upcoming Pixel 6. So yeah, considering the circumstances we are living in, this phone truly is the once in a lifetime smartphone. Huawei may never get the chance to get Google services on their Android, but hey, never forget, they once did something magical with Google. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. If Google were to make a Nexus phone in 2021, what brand would you wanna see them collaborate with? Drop your thoughts in the comment section below. With that being said, I will see you guys in the next one. Peace out.